Good morning. Yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I got this set in the mail from an eBay purchase. And it has a very nice, but rather typical Schaefer nib in it. And it had a nice matching pencil. So I thought maybe this will be a keeper. Um, so let's just pretend it's a keeper right now. But how many of these pens do I need? There's some more in here. You know, I've got, these were all in my keeper pile. And one of the reasons I have so many of these black pens is, yes, I like black pens, and I'm a member of the Black Pen Society that Paul Areno began, officially began. I, you know, a lot of people have liked black pens before Paul made a society for us. Um, some people just like black pens. I happen to like pens of all color. Z um, but black Black pens are good in that they show you the shape of the pen best. It's like those silhouette diagrams of World War I era Zeppelins. You, know, you could tell by looking at it, evidently, by memorizing this chart, you'd look up and see, okay, that's a German blimp, German dirigible, and that's a English blimp. So run or don't run, depending on what it looks like. Uh, the silhouettes um, also were used much later with Messerschmitts and Zeros and uh, all the other airplanes. Um, anyway, the nice thing about a black pen is you're not distracted by pretty colors. You're looking at the shape of the pen. So, these are the Schaefer, standard Schaefer torpedo shaped pens. I'm not going to talk about the later uh, versions of Schaefer pens that have the same torpedo shape. Um, I'm just talking about the ones that were made in the 20s and 30s, I guess. So, how many different kinds are there? Um, I'm also not going to talk about the variations in the bands. Um, here I'm talking about them, but I'm not going to classify them based on that. If they have a band, that's great. If they don't, I mean, if they have a different band, that's fine. But if they don't, I'm not concerned with that. I'm only concerned about the length and the diameter. And whether it's an early one or a later one. And I'll show you the difference between the early and late. This is late. Come on, where's an early? Well, this is half, half of early. Um, let me find a real early here. Okay, here's an early and a late, I think. Yes. The earliest ones had a short cap and a long barrel. The early ones had a short section. The later ones had a longer section. So essentially, that's the difference. Um, this pen it's also interesting that this pen is shorter when capped than this one, but this one becomes longer than the longer one is when it's capped, or it should. Yes. Yeah, you know, a little bit shorter. Yes, shorter. So, uh, the early ones also had a, oh, there's a, another difference here that I forgot. It's the clip. The clip had some variations in it. So that's going to confuse this a little bit. Let's just talk about the length and the girth aspect. 
So there were, I think, three, three different widths, diameters of these pens. Small, thin, medium, and fat, we'll call it. And there were, I don't know how many different lengths, at least three. So let's see what we can figure out here in this. The pencils I'm not going to deal with. Some of these are sets and some aren't, but I'm just going to take all the pencils out just to make my life a little easier. Our lives a little easier. There is one weird thing in here, which is a pen-pencil combo, which is this one. So it has a pen on one side and a pencil on the other. It's still, I still count it as one of these pens, though I probably shouldn't. So I'll just throw that aside too. Okay, the pencils have been gotten rid of. The golf pens, these are pens that were designed to be carried in your... Oh, what are those golf pens? Not knickers, you know, you know what I mean, those short pants that, or those baggy pants that golfers wear. It's too early in the morning. So here <clears throat> I have four of them, and uh, there's at least three. <clears throat> there's the ladies' pen. There's the man's pen, and one of these is lifetime and two aren't. So, and there probably would be a lifetime ladies pen as well. So maybe if one of these had a ring top with a dot, that would be the set. Um, so I guess I have to find that. It can go over there. Officially one of those should go away. Because it's a duplicate. That's one of the things I'm trying to do here, is get rid of duplicates. Okay, here are... Now since we're talking about ring tops, here are... Here's an early ring top, because it's of its shape, and a later one, except this one might have the wrong cap. I hate when that happens. Here I'm thinking I'm going to do something, and I'm not. I'm becoming confused. Another slight difference are the, the military pens that were made late in the career of these pens, and they have the um, clip that you could wear without being out of uniform in a mili the military, because you could button your shirt pocket button which evidently is what you have to do. Some of those can be together. They did make... Oh, there's another one. Another one. They did make uh, this pen with silver trim. I don't have that many of them. Uh, they're relatively rare. Um, so I'll just keep those together as well. The ones I'm kind of halfway sorting out or up there. Okay. Let's see. The ones I have most of, the ones of which I have most examples, are the medium-sized ones. So I'm going to try to pull out all the thin ones now. I think these are all thin. Maybe there's, there might be two different sizes of thin. Okay, this is, this is, this, is this the senior slice? Sometimes they all, they all start looking alike, these pens. Okay, that's a senior. Where are my senior pens? Those are two seniors. That's a senior. That's a senior. Senior, senior. That is not a senior. Is that not a senior? No. Medium. 
Medium. N, 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 N. Oh, that's a silver one that can go there. Spin. I'm starting to get a headache because they're all they all are looking alike to me. That's a thin one. Okay, I think these are all the same diameter. Let's see. I think these are all the same diameter. And then I think these are all the same. So Let's just assume for the moment that there are three different widths of this pen. So let's start with this batch. The ones that have <clears throat> initials on them or names on them, of course, I like to keep. But let's just see if I have any of these that are duplicates. The pen I just got yesterday, I was under the impression that I did not have. And I thought, well, that's not a very uncommon... God damn it! It's not a very uncommon pen. Why wouldn't I have that? This one has mom written m-o-m -M. so you know these two these two are essentially the same pen one has a bigger band and i'm not counting the bands as variations here so this one i could conceivably i could conceivably get rid of one of these Right? That's right, Pierre. You can keep telling yourself that. These are not the same. You see there's a white dot on one and there's not a white dot on the other. So one was a lifetime guarantee nib and one was not. Okay, here's another one. Okay, there's two that are absolutely identical. So it seems like I can get rid of two of these now if I'm not counting the bands. Some of these pens have, like this one, all sorts of nastiness happening. Someone used, I don't think it was me, used a pliers or something to try to get these things apart and screwed it up. Um, are there three of these? Look at that. I have, I can get rid of two of them. Both of them. I can get rid of both of, both of them, but I don't know which one. Two of the three I can get rid of. Okay, so I may have to keep the ones that have the weird bands because chances are they have initials on them. This one does not though. But see, this is a different size. This is this is where the sh you know, this is long, this is medium, and this is short. So there's three different lengths at least in these pens. Uh, it looks to me as if none of these are the earliest versions, so maybe they didn't make this in the smallest version when they first came out. Um, there are many different kinds of clips. Um, there's the clip that has the ball on the end, there's a clip that's flat, and there's the hump clip, it's called. And the hump clip you find on the early pens, where the clip makes this. That's the early one. This is the later one. I'm trying to find the one in between that has the ball there. This is the flat clip is the latest, the most recent. So, anyway, so uh, here I can get rid of two of these. 
So I'm just going to, I'm going to put these aside because I can, two of these can go away. I know that. I'm keeping that one because of mom. And these three, are these the same? Is this a hump clip? No, that's not a hump clip because that's not the shape. Um, it seems to me that these two want to be the same. Are they the same? I think these are the same, so I should be able to say goodbye to one of these without a problem. So I will put those there. One of those can go away. See, I'm getting rid of some of these. Isn't that nice? Okay, and these all have names on them. One is a lifetime. But see, they're all different. The cap, the clips are different. Uh, the size is different as well. So these are all keepers. And See, it's, it's interesting where the, you know, this clip is way up at the top as well. This one is way down. You know, they're all... And these are things you can easily see when the pen is all black. If this was in color or stripes, that would be something that would not be as obvious. So we're keeping these. And while we're keeping them, we might as well put the pencils back where they belong. Those two, that's a set. And... Well, anyway, done, We're done, you can put these away. These are the keepers, and of these I will keep some. Okay, we'll figure that out later. The medium sizes, let's figure out which ones of these are duplicates. This should be, one of these should be the one I just got, which of course is now mixed in completely with this pile, so it would be the one that has ink in it, because I did fill it up. Um, is it this one? No, it wasn't a, it was, let me see if I can figure it out. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. This is the one I just got. And I didn't think I had one. And do I have one? So I'm looking for a non-white dot Schaefer ball clip. These are all flat clips. There's a ball clip. This is an early one. Over there, that's an early one. Okay, this one, these are the same, except this one has the Cadillac symbol on it, so it was probably given to a Cadillac sale, a Cadillac salesman. Okay, these, this is a ball clip. Let's just put the ball clips in one spot, just to make my life easier, and your watching slightly less unbearable. Okay, these are all all clips, that's the mod. Okay. One of these I should be able to get rid of, right? Because they are the same, except you now the dot has migrated up or down, but they, these are the, essentially the same pens. They both have names in them, on them. I'll just keep them both because of that white dot migration. The person that was applying the white dots that day must not have been fully awake. Is that the answer? Could that be the answer? So we'll keep both both of those. Both of them. Both of them we're gonna keep. Okay, so we're back here. Do I have another one that's light? No, that has a white dot. This does not have a white dot. This is short though. Should have a shorter cap. Well, 
it has the wrong cap. This cap used to go down to here if some the section was shorter or something. Something's wrong. I hate when that happens. When things get mixed up like this. Okay, this is the pen that has the ink in it. Okay, so I'm keeping this one because of that. And I'm keeping this one because it doesn't have that. So we have to keep both of those, both of them. So this is the one I have ink in. Remember that. Are these the same? No, they're not. This one has a white dot, that one doesn't. That is a white dot. So I could conceivably get rid of one of these, because these are the same pen, and I don't need you know, the, the big nib, and the, so I can, I can get rid of one of these. I'll keep the... No, see, these are different. See, this has Schaefer's on it, that one does not. This is also 14 carats. So I have to keep both, both of them. Both of them I have to keep again. God bless. Um, let's see if I can get rid of any of these. I have to keep both of those. This is the white dot. This is the only one I have that's white. Okay, I could conceivably get rid of one of these. Is that correct? Oh, this is another one of those ones without a nib. So I have to keep that I and mean, without a name on it. Are these the same? They're not the same. One short, one isn't, so we have to keep those. Okay, so these all have to be kept. Let's try the ones that are flat. Oops. Okay, these are the early versions. We need to keep both of those. Okay, now which ones can I get rid of here? These two look like they're identical. No, they're not, because one's lifetime and one isn't. another lifetime. Oh, this is a piston fill. So, let's keep that one. Okay, these two. Are these two the same? These two look like they're the same. Look at that. Identical. Right? One of these I can get rid of. I'm just going to say I can. I'm not even going to look for any more slight diversities. No, they go over here. One of those will go away. These two, because I, I can't get rid of those two. Okay, they can go here. These. These are all the signature ones, which I tend to like. One is non-white dot. I could conceivably get rid of two of these, but I'm not going to, because I, I like the signature bands, and most people don't, so even if I were to get rid of them, I may, they may end up not selling for the longest time, so we'll just keep them. Okay. Now let's go here. These are the silver ones. Okay, these come... These two look like they are identical. So get rid of one of these. I don't think there's any difference between them. There doesn't look to be. So one of these is going to go away. Sometimes the chrome, when it starts to wear down, it bothers me. So this one might be the one I'd sell. I'll keep the one that's in better shape. That isn't always the case, but in this case, it might be the case. So I'll put that in the... one of those has got to go. Piles. Ring top. These are both different sizes, clearly. I think I've got the caps mixed around. No, that doesn't even screw on. I think I think this belongs here though, because this is the short cap. Is it the short cap? 
Yes, it's the short cap and the longer pen. So this one goes correctly there. This one doesn't want to screw on though. So I might fix this by robbing I think, oh, look at that nib. I, I wasn't even looking at the nibs on these things because I know all the nibs are good and that one is a really nice flexible nib. So, um, well, this one, this one I can find some re I'll make this work. The, the threads on this one are not working right. This this needs it fits on this one, but it doesn't belong there. This needs a, a shorter section and I don't know what's wrong with it because I'm too stupid to figure it out. So I'm just gonna put these two over here where one of these has to get fixed. Okay. Uh, did I talk about these already? These little, little pens? I think I did. Um, okay, one of these two can go. Keep that, one of these two can go, because these are both the same. Like little golf pens. What are those pants called? Bloomers. Bloomers? I don't know. Okay, now these Skyboy pens. One of these might say Skyboy. Okay, one of these is a lifetime, so we have to keep that one. These three. These two do not have, this one has a name Schaefer on it. Sometimes they say Skyboy, sorry. But these two look like they are the same. So one of these can go. Uh, I may have the wrong nib in one of these, but the nibs are easily replaced. So I think I will get rid of this one, keep this one. Made that I've already made the decision on this one, and it's because of this little dimple right there, and that that's why th this one is going to go away. Yay, one of them out, one pen goes out. These senior ones, a lot of these have really nice nibs in them, so I'm probably not going to get rid of any of them. And these are all lifetime. And look at the variation in the dots, the size of the dots and the positioning of the dots. And again, I think the guy that was in charge of the white dot would come into work hungover or drunk because clearly he didn't care where he put the dot. That also happens, I think he was maybe finally fired by the Schaefer company and he started working for Walt Eversharp or maybe Walt Eversharp was first or maybe he worked both places because the gold seal on the deco banded pens is all over the place and the clip is all over the place. There was no quality control there. Um, so anyway, we're keeping all of those, and many of these have really nice nibs, and I, I use them uh, in my artwork, so a lot of them don't belong in this drawer. Oh, this is the one that has ink in it. Okay, so I'm keeping that one out. So, folks, what have I done? I've discovered that I did not have this pen. Um, I guess I discovered that because... 
I guess I just didn't have it. I had the pens of this size that I had were all lifetime pens. And this one was a non-lifetime pen. This is a 530. So it was a number five nib, nib guaranteed for 30 years, not for life. So there's the, there's the reason that it, that it didn't exist here because I'm sure I have probably a dozen of these in my in my drawer of pens for sale, but I just didn't put it in here. So there you go. I get to I get to put oh that those pens were over here. Are they over here? Now I'm, now I'm getting confused. Oh, these are the thin ones. Um, I'm not getting confused. Or I'm getting confused. Now I'm pulling out this, this pen because of the initials. This was in my, in the matching pencil, this was in my set area. So I have to put that away. This one, because it has the pencil, the matching pencil, also pencil was it? This is a, another set. Um, this is the one that doesn't have Schaefer. This has a name on it and this one doesn't, but that's okay. That's a set. As I think I pointed out in an earlier video that my, my pens belong in very many different spaces. Some of them I have in a drawer that has fun names on it. Other ones I have in a drawer that has pen and pencil sets. And they're all in different locations. This is a senior pencil hump clip. So those two go together and they're a set. So that can go over there. Um, this is another set. This is Lee Snyder. I'm using him at the moment. See, this one is a, one that has a name on it, but I love the fact it has the zip code, which means that this was inscribed decades after it was manufactured, which is kind of cool. I guess I don't have the matching pencil for that. Leave that there. So these are just random pencils. I could probably get rid of a bunch of these, but I'm just going to set them all right there. So there you go. I guess I'm done. Oh, I have to put all these back in here. Okay. Ta-da! Should I try to figure out which of these I want to keep? Okay, here are the ones that I have to decide about. This one I've already decided to sell. Good. These two. Which one of these am I going to sell? This is where I have to get out the ink. The proof is in the pudding. Okay, this one, this one did have a name on it, and someone tried to sand it off. And that sometimes bothers me. Sometimes it doesn't, but it's bothering me today. So that's the one that's going to go away. Goodbye. Now, where did the other ones go? These two. These two the same. These two are essentially the same. One has a slightly broader nib. A bro I'm sorry, broader band. I like that nib. I sort of can tell this nib is 
Johnny one note, this one can go away. Just because of that nib. Bye. Keep that one. Keep that one. Okay. Now I've got... Are these three all identical? Oh, let's do the other one. This, this is two. One or t'other of these. Okay, I said that... Nice nib on that one. Fine and slightly flexible. Similar nib here, not as fine. Do I want to keep the finer one? I think I want to keep this one. But I don't I want to keep the other one of those, so maybe I'll yank, I'll do a nib switcher rooney. section swap or something, but I'll, I'll figure this one out. Because I, I do like the crisper um, lever. Um, oh, let's see, these are different. Damn it. This is a flat one, and this is a round ball. So I get to keep both of them. Both of them. See? Yay. I don't have to make that decision. No Sophie's Choice there, or whatever that movie was. This one I have to keep because it's a pen pencil set that goes up there. These two are identical, right? Yes. Yes. So this is all based on the nib. It's interesting. I'm, I'm, well, you're not going to find it interesting, but the threads seem to be cut more deeply in one than the other. That is a nice nib. Equally nice. This is slightly smoother and broader, so this one is finer and thinner. So I'm going to keep the finer and thinner. These are the same though, right? I keep on fooling myself. That one. Keeping that one, getting rid of this one. Right? That's right. These three, down to the last three, one of these is going to go away. Two of these are going to go away. Are they the same elsewhere? These, I think these are all the same. They all should have lifetime nibs. Whether they do or not, I don't know. This has a feather touch nib, I think. This feels like a lifetime nib. Okay, I'll keep this one. Does this have a lifetime nib? Let's just take a look. Where's my loop? So this has the wrong nib in this pen. It's probably a better nib than the lifetime nib. Lifetime nibs are normally very stiff. Is this the one I wanted to keep? decide to keep a pen or not to keep it <clears throat> based on the nib. I have many nibs, thousands of them, and the nibs, if I, even if I don't have 
a duplicate. You know, there's, there's a slight difference now in the in the way they're imprinted, but I'm not I'm not going to worry about that. I don't care about the imprint. Um, <clears throat> when I keep pens based on their nibs, or choose this one, let's say I have a nib that's fine and slightly flexible, and fine and flexible, feely, um, I may choose the fine rather than the fine and slightly flexible, because I know I've got another pen somewhere else that has an identical nib. I've got way, way, way many nibs, and some of them are very similar, so it's not like I, I need, I need to deal with that, so it's just a whim. So anyway, there you go, folks. These pens are now available for purchase to like hand them to a customer and I'm gonna let them try it and I'm gonna try it up first and I'm gonna say I like this I like this nib I'm gonna keep it and then I will end up keeping it and then I'll be back where I started from so it sort of sucks these pens go back up here in my work area because these all have nibs that I like. This one can go in here and this one can also go in these and this one goes in my name department and these go in my set department. And do these all fit? They won't fit. take one of these out and put somewhere else the name SS not to be confused with SS but it's SS um, I don't know what to do here I think I'll A set? No, that's not a set. Is this a set? And that looks like a set. So I will put that in the another. Do I have that one already? I do have that one already. <sighs> well, one of these is going to have to. I have to take some of these out. So I'll set this here, find a nice nib that I can put ink in and put on my table of user pens. But at least I got these. These are going to go away. So there we go. Ta-da! The end. So the pen I got yesterday, this one in the mail, is one that I did not have. So I'm still finding new pens. And somehow I knew I didn't have it. Somehow my memory banks, with all this debris everywhere, somehow my memory banks knew that I didn't have that pen. What's wrong with me?